go ahead and disconnect. And then you want to make sure that your alligator clips are not coming into contact with one another. They are not, for that matter. Both coming into contact with something that will conduct electricity because that will just run your batteries down. So I just clip into that flap. This is a really, it doesn't look like much. I call it the underachiever. Other people have come out, come up with the exact same configuration. And so I figure I'm right. Here I've got it to what it should be. I'm going to put the uh, leads here in the same spot. You just when you're testing before and after for for resistance, if you are doing this, it's not necessary, but it gives you an indication of how strong your your end product is. But if you're going to test. You need to try to make sure that your leads are in exactly the same spot as when you took your first reading and that the electrodes are in the same position. And I'm looking at this reading and I can tell you that I've got at least twice, at least half, excuse me, of the resistance. which <laughs> I forget the formula that I was given to figure parts per million based on resistance differences anyway this is how I make colloidal silver it's not how everyone does it and I'm not about to get into dosages and anything else, except that I will tell you that if you brew it correctly and you use just pure water and no salt, thank you very much, you will get colloidal silver and not sodium silver. Sodium silver is what might possibly turn your skin blue, not colloidal silver. It has, it, colloidal silver will not do that. And if it would at all, then it would be a product you wouldn't even call colloidal silver because your particles would probably be too large to really be called that. Sodium silver may very well turn your skin blue my product this product will not do that the particles are small enough to penetrate cellular walls that means it'll, it'll go right back out again goes through your system in about four hours it's gone it does not stick around in your skin to turn it blue that <laughs> it's kind of funny but it turns people away from colloidal silver they don't understand that it's not colloidal silver that does that but sodium silver that would do that, maybe. Now I'm just playing with the light. And 